every single one of us as entrepreneurs, we want to get to the point where we are creating that next level experience for our clients. And this is really important to us because as entrepreneurs, as business owners, this is where we get to increase the ante. We get to charge more money and have people pay it. We get to increase our profit margins. We get to pay higher quality employees to bring them in to help run and manage the business so we have less stress and less frustration going on. So this idea of getting your business to the next level, creating the experience that people will pay top dollar for is key. We all love the idea of being recession proof by appealing to the people who have deep pockets, who have real money. Well, the way you do that is creating this next level experience. And the key is you can do this whether you are a chef trying to build up your business, um, a, a restaurant or a plumber or like us, you're putting on an event. So I'm going to use the Grow Retreat as a really great example here because we've been putting on the Grow Retreat. We're coming up on our fifth year now and we have learned a lot about how to create a next level experience to the point where when people walk into the room at the Grow Retreat, it blows them away. I've had people go, you know, Stephanie, I don't know what it is, but there is something really different about this room. I walk in and I feel like I'm at home. The conversations people are having with each other as other attendees, but also with the speakers, they're like, I don't get these conversations anywhere else. This is really unique. And so what we've created is an environment that really creates a, a space, the Grow Retreat, that people are willing to pay for and they're willing to pay handsomely to have access to. Now, we've learned this. There's three key things that you've got to do if you want to create a next level experience. There's three key steps that are going to help you get there. Now, the first and foremost is you have to establish the basics. Now, this is really, really important. You have to do what everybody else is doing and you have to do it just as well as they are doing it. Okay, you can't sit here and say, I'm going to create a next level experience, but then not be able to execute on the basic pieces. We learned this the hard way the very first year with the Grow Retreat. Now, that very first year with the Grow Retreat, it was still good. I, you know, got people who attended were like, yeah, it was still a good event, but it wasn't anything like what we put on now. It's a completely different event now. Now, the thing is that very first year we were figuring out the basics of putting on an event of that caliber. How much goes into organizing the speakers, booking the speakers, getting them to fly in, finding the venue, getting the catering, setting up registration, getting tickets sold, setting up the marketing, setting up expectations and managing everything. So we actually created a, 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 just the basic level of an event that people expect every time they go to an event. So that was step number one, is get the basics down and get them down just as well as everyone else. So 2017, we got the basics down. 2018, we tested the basics. We had some evolution, but we were really making sure that we had the core basic pieces of the event in place. Then step number three, wait, step number two, we're not skipping step number two. So step one is establish the basics. Make sure that you're doing what everyone else in your business does at least as well as they're doing it, okay? Step number two is identify all the things people hate about your industry. So you've got to do some interviewing here, all right? Now, the, the good news for me when we were building the Grow Retreat is I am a consumer of my industry. I go to a lot of events, educational events, business owner events, networking events. And so I had the opportunity to sit down and say, okay, as a consumer of my own industry, what do I hate about other people's events, okay? What drives me crazy about going to other people's events? How do I fix that? from my event, so people don't have to deal with that, right? One of the things that drives me crazy going to other people's events, believe it or not, I'm actually a little bit introverted. And so going to other people's events and having to walk into a room full of people I don't know freaks me out. So we set up all kinds of stuff to make sure that when people come to the Grow Retreat, they are coming into the retreat and they're walking into a room that is warm and welcoming and they are able to find conversations to plug into right away, which has ended up with us attracting an 
awful lot of introverts who love the fact that this is an event that is designed for them to be able to excel and bloom, okay? So you've got to identify what do people hate about your industry. Other things we identified, everyone hates speakers who get on stage and don't really share any real content. They just share a bunch of ideas, but they don't actually walk you through practical application. Um, everyone hates speakers who get on stage and can't deliver an actual presentation. Um, so we created this whole list. Have you done the same thing? And have you gone to your buyers and said, what do you hate about my industry? Okay, these are the things you have to figure out how to fix. If you want to go to the next level with your service, you have to fix the things everyone hates. Period, end of discussion, okay? Now, number three is once you have this list and you know what you wanna do, your job is to fix every single item on that list. But number three is to focus on small improvements executed consistently. Focus on small improvements executed consistently. See, when you go to try and take your business to the next level, we deal with this all the time where we just want to kind of like trans, you know, teleport and suddenly be at the next level. And we forget that all of these guys who got to that next level, they put in a lot of work to get there, you're gonna have to put in the work. So focus on how can I improve one small thing? Focus on the little things, trust me, believe it or not, what makes the Grow Retreat spectacular is that yes, we have this really amazing format and formula, we have incredible speakers, we have people who have to interview in order to attend. I mean, there's, there's a lot that goes into it, but what's really taken the Grow Retreat to the next level each year is me sitting down and identifying what are the friction points, what are the problems, how can I make, and, and I'm gonna be honest guys, they're small improvements at this point. They're small improvements, it's little things I'm changing, but they make a world of difference to my buyer.